Hey folks, I've locked in a deal to buy a vintage toy collection from somebody and I'm heading out right now to pick it up. So stick around for more. Hey guys, I'm here from Transformers and Video Games and welcome back to the channel. As I mentioned in my intro, I'm heading out right now to pick up a vintage toy collection that I've agreed to buy from somebody. This is pretty much a mix of G1 Transformers, GoBots, Select Converters, and there's a handful of other toys in there from toy lines that I'll probably need your help identifying. So I'm just about to roll out right now, so stick around for more and be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Okay, so I've done the deal and I have a pretty good sized box of toys in the trunk of my car. I just thought I'd show you what I picked up. This plastic bag is full of accessories for the toys. And here's just some random paperwork that I'll move out of the way. I'm just going to give you a quick bird's eye view of everything that's in the box. You can see there's quite a number of toys here. In the upper left corner, we've got G1 Blast Off, which is part of Bruticus. And underneath him, we've got uh, G1 Weird Wolf. I'm, I'm really hoping that's complete. There's uh, G1 Blaster buried under a bunch of other figures. G1 Hotspot, which is part of Defensor and a very well proportioned combiner in my opinion. Here in the bottom right corner, we've got G1 Slag, and I can see a number of GoBots here sprinkled throughout the box. Here's another good one to have. Uh, again, hopefully it's complete. This is Grotusk, which is one of the monster bots. There's a good amount of weight to this box, and as you can see, there are a few layers of toys here for me to go through when I get home. Now we'll take a quick look at the accessory bag here. Right on top I can see one of the wings for G1 Grotesque, which is a really good sign. I hope they're both in there. There's the waist piece for G1 Devastator, which, if I'm not mistaken, came with Long Haul. Here's one of the Target Masters. I'm just forgetting which figure he came with. Got no idea what this bird belongs to. Certainly not a Transformer. Now here's a little radar dish. If I'm not mistaken, this was a piece for Fortress Maximus. And, and so is this piece here. Um, I can assure you that I didn't get Fortress Maximus with this lot, but I know those pieces are very expensive and they're certainly something I'll need if I decide to build a G1 Fortress Maximus for myself. Okay guys, so I'm back home now and I gotta say I'm very excited about this purchase. Now just to let you know, all I've done so far is I've opened up the box that I showed you that was in the trunk of my car. I've taken out all of the figures and I've got them out. Well, I've got about half of them out on a table in front of me. And I was trying to think of the best way to do this video. And I sort of settled on uh, that I think I'm just gonna hold up each figure, mention the name of it. If I don't know the figure's name, I might ask you to let me know in the comments what it is, and uh, we'll take it from there. I might do a follow-up video if there's enough interest where I pair all the accessories that I have with the figures, just to see where I'm at with that, see what's complete and what's incomplete, and uh, take it from there. Okay, so without further delay, let's get right into this. So for starters, I've got the gray variant of GoBots Leader One. Uh, I'm gonna knock a couple of these sort of cheapo figures off the list here quickly. Uh, back in the 80s, there was a line of toys that McDonald's put out with Happy Meals. They were called Commandrons. So I've got three of those. Here's the race car. There's a jet. And this last one, I actually remember his name. Uh, his name was Solardine. It's a little spaceship. Next, I've got G1 Skywarp. Uh, I did take a quick peek in the parts bag. Uh, these wings weren't attached to them. I just stuck them on there. Uh, at the moment, I don't know if I've got the landing gear or any of the missiles or anything, but uh, they're Skywarp. 
the gray variant of GoBots Dive Dive. Another GoBot, this is Twin Twist, I want to say. Twin Spin. GoBots Twin Spin. G1 Run Amok, which I think was one of the jump starters. Here's G1 Dinobot Slag, and I gotta say, this looks to be in very good condition. If you look on the underside here, it doesn't look like there's any paint chips. Um, surprisingly, it's in great condition, given that it was just sitting in that box. Here's a figure, or sorry, here's a toy that I'm not familiar with at all. Um, maybe people can let me know if they know what this is. It says on the side of this vehicle, Megastar. And there's a little driver inside there. I'm not sure if it's picking that up. There's a little green driver. So it's not a toy line I'm familiar with. I'm assuming these are all from the 80s. Next, I've got from G1 Bruticus. Uh, this is G1 Blastoff. From Voltron, this is number four, the Blue Lion. Got a couple of Insecticons here. Uh, here's Bombshell in his insect mode. And here's Bombshell in his robot mode. So I'm thinking that there must have been either two collections, maybe there were two brothers or something like that that collected, and they both had duplicates of the odd figure. Here's G1 Blaster. G1 Dinobot Snarl. The chrome is actually looking pretty good on this one. Legs are a little floppy, but I'm sure I can tighten them up. Here's the Autobot Six Changer Quick Switch. This is a much smaller version of Six Shot. Uh, far inferior figure in my opinion, but still a pretty fun one to have. Here is Nose Cone from the Computron set. First Aid from Defensor. G1 Chase, which is one of the throttle bots. Uh, I'm going to knock off a few of these figures from the um, Select Converters line. I've just got a couple of them. This one is called Feather. I don't know the name of this one, but this is um, some, kind of an, some kind of an insect. That piece is a little bit loose. If anybody knows the name of this one, leave me a comment in the comment section. Another Select Converters figure. This one's name is Rex. It's got some really nice chrome wings there. And this is another cool looking one. Um, again, from the same line. This figure's name is Robat which I guess is a bit of a play on words, sort of GoBot style, because of course he's a robot. Um, I don't know a lot about select converters. Uh, they were very cheap transforming robot toys from the 80s. They weren't knockoffs. In fact, I believe they were made in Japan. Um, but even just holding this one, it feels super light. I mean, he's got some nice chrome and the stickers are really nice, but he feels super light. So I'm gonna say there's little to no die cast metal on these figures, probably none. Um, here's a GoBots Rock Lord, and this is the only one I have in my collection. I believe this one's name is Nugget, and it's actually got a good amount of weight to it. Everyone's favorite, G1 Soundwave. Here's another figure. I've got no idea what line this is from. If anybody knows, maybe they can leave me a comment in the comments section. Looks a little bit like a Firebird or Trans Am or a Corvette or something. On the bottom, uh, it does say Kenner uh, 1984, if that helps. Here is a GoBots figure. Uh, I believe his name is Pathfinder. Next up is 
G1 Beachcomber, not in great condition. His arms are a little bit floppy and you can actually see that his roll cage is a little bit flattened. I might be able to bend that back in the other direction. I'm not sure. Maybe I can even heat the plastic up with a hair dryer or something. Uh, G1 Dinosaur Cassette. This is, uh, I want to say, Overbite. Is that right? G1 Overbite. One of the jump starters. This is Top Spin. Here's the other jump starter. This is Twin Twist. Got a couple of G1 Constructicons. This is Scrapper. And they've actually got another scrapper here. Again, I'm assuming that it's two collections that just got folded in together. Uh, here's one of the G1 Monster Bots. This is Grotusk. And I did see, uh, I believe, one of the wings in that parts bag that I showed at the beginning of the video for this. So I'm hoping this one's complete. I know that this is a fairly costly figure to find nowadays. G1 Hotspot from Defensor. Uh, at a glance, this just looks like a pair of binoculars, but if I'm not mistaken, this is, I'm, I'm betting it's a knockoff, but uh, there was a microchange figure called Scope Man. So I'm pretty sure that's what this is. From Abominus, there's G1 Cutthroat. From the GoBots line, if I'm not mistaken, this figure's name is Dumper. Not the most imaginative name, that's for sure. Uh, I've got another GoBot here, not one I'm very familiar with. These were like monster GoBots, and if I'm not mistaken, they combine. Uh, it's one of the few combiners in the GoBots line. If anybody knows the name of this one, leave me a comment. And from this first wave of toys that I'm going to show here, uh, I believe you could see this in the box in the video when I had the box in my trunk. This is, of course, G1 Weird Wolf. Um, very excited to see that the head is of the Headmaster is actually uh, included, so that's fantastic. I know the heads themselves can cost, I'm going to say nowadays, minimum of $25. So very nice to have that. And uh, if you'll notice behind me here, I've actually got um, Weird Wolf here in his robot mode. So anyways, really happy to have this one. I'm just looking at the condition here. Uh, I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up, but you can see these chromed out details here on the side of his arms are in very nice condition. In fact, looking at this, this might even be in better condition than the one that I've got on my shelf back there. So this is at a minimum going to be I think a figure upgrade for me. Um, even the stickers there look to be in pretty decent condition. So again, that's the first 35 or so figures that I'm going to show you. I'm going to pause the camera right now and I will be back and I'll show you the next wave of figures. All right, guys, I had a quick look at the minute count for the first half of this toy collection haul video, and unfortunately, it's gone a little longer than I anticipated. I didn't want this to be a half hour or 40 minute video, so I'm going to cut this off here. I'm going to call it part one, and I'm just going to go ahead and shoot part two to this haul video. Uh, in the meantime, leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think of the haul so far. Uh, are there any standouts here in your opinion? Uh, are there any figures uh, that were included with a lot that surprise you in, in any way? I know certainly from my perspective, uh, mind you, I knew this when I saw the box of figures in the trunk of my car, uh, but I was pleasantly surprised again the, uh, with the fact that Weird Wolf came with his Headmaster figure. Um, the other thing that surprised me a little bit is um, the fact that these select converters figures were included. I don't have any of them in my collection right now, uh, the four that I showed so far, or at least three out of the four, seem to be in surprisingly good condition. The stickers are nice, uh, the chrome bits are in excellent condition, and I think they're going to make a really nice display on one of my shelves. So anyways guys, I'm going to leave it at that for today. Uh, be sure to leave me a comment, like the video, subscribe for more, and that's it for me. Thanks again for watching everybody. Take care.